were listening to the radio. Like, oh, was a van had hit the Trade Center, helicopter in the Pentagon. Nobody had really any ideas, just explosions everywhere. So we got to see the, tow- the, the first tower fall. But this, is, uh, this is, you know, somebody attacking America. It's time for us to fight back. Uh, I remember re-watching it, and it made me so furious. There was nothing that will ever make me that mad ever again watching that, and it just something struck inside me. It's like, you know, was, I couldn't stand by and watch something like that happen to this country. When I first went in, I was like, you know, I'll try school a different time. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't do too well at, at uh, my university, and then um, when I dropped out, um, I decided to, you know, try for something else. Because I, I reported to the 82nd, in uh, August 2005. My dad uh, was, in the, uh, was in Vietnam. I've always wanted to be in the Army, and uh, it was one of the better decisions I've ever made. I mean, the whole idea of even joining was to help with 9-11. First trip over there, we uh, got to Kuwait after the, the relieved unit left. We went out our first night and uh, <laughs> took contact. Almost a lot of nights after that, we took a lot of contact, too. And then all of a sudden, you just see these green tracers, just like that, and you hear them hitting the Humvee. I remember seeing this flash, just pow, like, and I was like, oh, man. A little, he was completely unconscious on the wheel, and I slapped him. I was like, oh, wake up, man, wake up, bro. And because the Humvee was still moving, and uh, right, then it clicks. I'm like, okay, this is, this, uh, this is real. And I think what kind of helped me through it it was kind of like the idea that, you know, if you, if you die, man, you, you die. It's weird, man. The first time you have a friend die, it's a very strange uh, thing that happens to you. If the blast is too much, whatever the case may be. Like, you know, you have like your normal eardrum right here. When I got pushed up like that, you know, like I'm out here doing something good. I'm really out here helping out. You know, I believed in Iraq. I believed that, you know, what we're doing here is going to help stop terrorism in a weird way because I thought the idea of them kind of coming to us rather than them doing it in the States. There has to be a reason we're here. You can't, you know, you just don't send anybody to a Middle Eastern country for no particular reason. I- I'm still glad I went. You know, I'm still glad, you know, I got put in a position where I could help in some way. And once you turn all your equipment in, man, you're done. That, oh, it's that feeling of just like, I'm getting out of here. The, the economy started slipping. And you started to realize, you gotta have school, man, to do almost anything. I'm glad I got out when I did and didn't re-enlist. You know. I would have met my fiance and I wouldn't have you know, probably been as happy and I'd probably be in Afghanistan now with the rest of them. It definitely uh, impacted my life, the 9-11. Pretty, pretty hard, and had it happened, happened, you know, I may or may not have joined the Army. I may, you know, have just been a server and, you know, not gone to school. And as awful as it was, it really did the whole aspect of it. You know, it put me in the right direction. I love it, man. I, I love school. It's just a different mindset, you know. If you're, if you get stressed out about school, is way more different than uh, you get stressed out about getting shot. It's two completely different things. So that's, that's always been kind of hard for me.